Hi guys! Welcome to a Christmas day! I'm thinking about doing like five days of Christmas tutorials. So the first tutorial we're going to start off with is Rudolph and Clarice. Now, this will be a two-part tutorial because I go really in-depth on teaching you how to color these two. Now, maybe you know how to color and you don't want to follow along, but just in case, I teach you how to color using my wonderful Ohuhu markers. They're great starter for alcohol-based markers. So that's what I'm going to use to teach you guys. If you want to see that video, it's going to be after the one of drawing. So we're going to draw these guys first and then if you want to color in your own time or you want to color along with me, I have a wonderful color tutorial. So I hope you guys will check that out. It's going to be fun. Let's go ahead and start drawing Rudolph and Clarice. Alrighty, so with my sketchbook facing horizontal, one circle here. And then we're gonna do another circle here. And this one's gonna be a little bit more of an oval. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda of lay out the bodies first so we get it all proportionate. So Clarice is a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna just draw out her snout here, her little snoot. And if it helps, just draw like maybe a circle inside and we'll get rid of like these inside lines afterwards. Here's another little snoot for Rudolph. All right, so I've got one head here, so I'm gonna make one ear, and then one ear. All right, so this head, this neck is gonna go underneath, and we're just gonna go underneath the chin again, so right here, we'll go down. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw one body going this way and go in. So it's pretty simple. You just kind of like make the neck coming down, connect to here. He doesn't have that large of a body because he's a baby. So we're gonna make one little here. You're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna circle off right here. And then we're gonna circle right here. Okay, so let's just leave this for right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw Clarice. So Clarice is next gonna go down same here. So their bodies are relatively on the same level. Clarice is just a little bit shorter. So if we round off like that neck area and then this part goes back. So Rudolph's just a little bit taller than her. All right. And then we're going to circle here. And we're going to circle here. So I'm going to make one leg here, and we'll do the legs for Rudolph too. We just kind of want to like line this all up and everything. And I'm actually gonna just go underneath and kind of give it a level. All right, so see, I gave it a level, so it's on the same level, all right? So we want to make sure they're on the same level, like kind of looking at each other. So I'm gonna make one leg here, and then we'll shape these up later. And so their legs behind them are gonna be shorter, so I'm gonna go and just a little bit behind the first line. I'm gonna go ahead and make this line. All right, so you see I've got like two lines because what happens is one leg's gonna go back here. So I'm just roughly placing that one. I'm gonna circle off this back leg here. And this one kind of goes back here. So you see I'm just kind of relatively, it looks like a bunch of noodles to me. Bunch of noodles. Okay, same thing for Rudolph. I'll jump over here. See, I'll go down. Go back up. And then this one's gonna go right down. On the same level. Go right back up. And then this back one back here. Round this off. And then I'm gonna go right back up into here. So I gotta round it off here and then here and then good. So you see, we roughly have everything kind of put together. Now we can start filling in the details. Let's start with Rudolph. Now Rudolph's got his head kind of turned off to the side. So I'm gonna just, I love giving eye guidelines. So I'm just gonna give an eye guideline here. I'm gonna circle up with that eye. So his eye kind of looks like a big old sunflower seed. It should look like one big sunflower seed right in the middle there. And if I bring out his head coming back here, 
So one big sunflower seed. His ear is kind of back because you know he's all shy and he's a cute little boy. I'm just gonna bring it down this ear into here. Okay, so we have this big old sunflower seed. Then you're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cut off the end looking at little Clarice. All right, so then this is going to flow into each other a little bit more, kind of like more of a snoot. I call it snoots, just bear with me. <laughs> and then I've got a little antler here, so I'm gonna make one little antler here, and make another little antler here. So one little antler here, keep the top of the head. All right, so you can kind of go in, and this one, that one go right there, that one. So you got this one here, got this one here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and for the snoot, you're going to go with that cute little red nose right on top. I'm going to kind of round it off, make it look more like a nose. Alright, and then you're just going to come right back down and you're going to give him his little smile into his little face. Right, and we're actually going to make this a little bit smaller, so you see I'm just kind of bringing it in. And I'm going to go up and connect underneath that nose. Alright, so see this is like a whole color scheme and if you want, I'm going to post a separate video on how to color this entirely. So instead of like fast coloring it, I'm just going to put some time into it. And now I'll just kind of go in. And so this coloring, you got his brown. I'm going to kind of like bring this in, see how I brought that down just a little bit. Alright, so I got the nose. And then this part underneath is his fur. You got another little white fur. This is white fur, this is white fur, and the rest of him is brown. And then his ear up here. That's white fur, the inside of his ear, so it's not pink, which is really interesting. And then you got a little bit of his ear back here. So you're just gonna kinda go out, bring that in. All right. Then what you're gonna do is from where we drew this circle, so you're gonna go out go in and we're gonna basically all their legs are the same size it's just that they go into their hooves which are bigger so we're just gonna keep it simple we're gonna go down and we're gonna bring out really large hooves looking all right so you got a little bit there then you've got this one, keep the roundness, and you're going to keep it the same width on this side. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this hoof too. Now for their hooves, you got a little bit of an indention here and there. So you got a little indention here and here. And then you're going to go ahead and you're just going to kind of go up and up here. And now I'm just gonna draw like a little bit of fur. So I made this and I made a little bit of fur here. And this is like their black hoof down here. All right, so then we're gonna finish off the back side here. So you bring up his back side and this is rounded off. And then you're gonna keep this part of his leg. So it kind of goes in, so you round it off. And this one's hanging out back here, so we're going to keep the same width as our front two legs. Front two legs, and we're going to make this big back here. And then his other, you bring up this one. You're just going to bring it back here too. So bring this up. Remember, nice back down here, same size. And we're going to do the same thing like we did in the front two legs, you know, kind of a little hoof here. Circle off that white fur, so round it up here. A little bit of white fur. There's Rudolph, and then we got his little tail back here. Let's 
All right, so let me go in and show you where I'm going to erase the lines. So I've got this leg up here. So you can see how I erased like those guidelines. And you see, the thing is, you wanna keep these like circular parts in front of their legs because as claymations, that's how they were built to look and stand. So you can't get rid of that classic effect. And you can just go around. This neck should be like a little bit, I'm gonna make him his neck a little bit thicker. And so his back should be going into his neck. This should be going in a little bit more, bring in that chest, and bring in that leg. I'm actually just to bring this in just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna mark off his chest here with that white patch. All right, so then let's look at Clarice. Clarice's head's a little bit more, more of a profile image. So same thing is I'm gonna go in, give her that eye guideline. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make, Clarice's eyes are different from Rudolph's. So instead of like a sunflower seed, we're looking more like a pointed lemon, so it's really big. And you wanna give more of a point in both corners, top and bottom. And then you're gonna go ahead and bring up that big old pupil. And then Clarice has really big eyelashes, so we can go ahead and kinda of put those on. And you, can, you can't see her eye on the other side, but her eyelashes are coming off on the side. And then you're gonna round off, like kind of like smooth down that nose and go into her head. And then for her snoot, she has a really tiny nose. So we're gonna kind of like box this off here. So round up that nose a little bit there. Box off that nose. And you're gonna bring in that first part of her mouth and make this a little bit smaller, kind of how like we did with Rudolph. Bring this down and go into her face. And her ear is pretty good, so we're just gonna kind of shape this up a little bit more. I'm gonna go up. She's got a big old ear. And bring that down. And then I'm gonna go ahead. And you know, Clarice's ears are pink inside, so we're gonna go in, kind of round that off. And then for her bow, we're gonna go make her bow. I'm just gonna kind of draw one oval here, one oval in the middle, and then one oval off to the side. So like kind of like an arc almost. And her bow is polka dot. So you can go in and draw those polka dots and just make this look more like a bow. So I'm gonna kind of bring in this side and underneath. So I make it nice and pointed up top, go in, give it a little bit of a fold for a bow. Same here, nice and big on the top, like kind of a little bit of a point round off the bottom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and like kind of just circle underneath her neck for that white patch. Then for her leg, so you kind of wanna, it's, it's interesting because you know they're claymation models. And so you've got these rounded off tops. We're gonna go ahead and make it the same. Round off the bottom. So you see same width and gets big at the bottom. Same here. Like if you bring out this side, same width down. And round off the bottom here. So I'm gonna make these a little bit more uniform. You can kind of go in and give a little bit more definition if you wanna keep it this width, you can, but if you wanna get a little bit more technical with it, you can kinda of go in and give like the sections. So you you know, all deer, horses, dogs, everything, they have kneecaps, so you can kinda of go in and define that. And then back here for her body, 
So this one's gonna go back. I'm gonna just, I'm just lightly draw through her leg. I'm gonna go back here. And then for her back leg here, keep this part nice and rounded. And we're gonna round off this one. And we go back into here. So for her butt, and you're gonna go out. See, you're kind of creating more of a thigh back here because we can see more of hers as opposed to his. His is more like hiding in the back. So for hers, you know, you got this part going in. You got this wide part here. And then you've got her hoof. So it goes back. And it's turned towards more our way, so more towards Rudolph. And we don't really see her thigh back here, but we got her leg. Same idea. Nice and same width apart from each other. And you just round off the bottom. And then she's got her little tail. Go up, down. And the same thing for Clarice's hoofs. So you've got like, you know, you can go in kind of round off the bottoms and then you go in you add the little bit of fur at the bottom. You go around and you're just going to clean up those sketch lines like we did with Rudolph. And now for fun you could either do like a little like I have a protractor and I can go through and can make like a cute little winter scene or if you want you could draw like a heart or in between these two or make it so cute but all right so what I'm gonna do this concludes drawing Clarice and Rudolph now in a separate video I'm gonna teach you how to color them so also lining big thing lining so I'm gonna go ahead and line and color them in another video